so welcome back to next episode of our react tutorial so in the last episode we have seen like how we write events in react js so we have seen normal let me just show you we have shown we have seen the click event drop down change event right text box change event on the text box change we have printed that value in the console let me just clear it out so if you can see on each value change we get to see that then we have implemented some mouse in and mouse out event also see on the green area if i'm moving mouse it is uh, the console is getting printed so these are the various basic events which we normally use while working i have explained so today we are going to see react hooks right so simple by if we go by definition like in react js hooks are the functions that allows you to use state and other react features in functional component so in simple words uh, consider a javascript uh, consider a javascript code let's say you create a variable and you need to change that uh, whatever the value you have in that variable you need to change that so what we do we directly use that variable and assign the new value but in react it is we can do that same also but the ui won't fetch the latest value right so let's say if that variable we have printed somewhere and if we change that value just like the javascript it won't show the updated value so in that scenario we have to use hooks so that that render function will get triggered again right so some of the commonly used react uh, react hooks are use state use effect and use constant so in this episode we are going to focus on use state how uh, we are we can use use state with string event of uh, sorry string object and the array right so let, let's get started so as we remember like with every topic i will be creating one new component so let's create a new component in the topics folder i'm going to create it new file use state dot js i have to create a component so rsc those who are new please do watch my previous videos you will get understanding like how we create the component right everything now in my app component i have rendered my body component now this use state component i'm going to render in my body so now i'm going to remove or comment these events and here use state you can see it is suggesting input impromptu topic and use state so let's click on that let's write something i and let's say So you can see high is printed over here. Now, let me just close this. We don't need this also. Now coming back to actual thing. So first thing is like, let's try to create a variable. So const. Now, the thing is like, we have to create from start. We'll start only. I will explain that use state method. Like how do we do that? So while if you are working with React and you need to create a variable, you need to store some value and display that variable in, in your HTML. So what you normally do is, let's say in const, in square bracket, first no, two parameters will be there. First will be your name of the variable and second will be method name. Let's say language name. This is my variable. Then comma, then my set method, set name right after that use state so we need the import so if we click import will be added over here round bracket and in this round bracket we can initialize let's say in this variable some default value you need right so this you can initialize over here this is the string variable language name is going to be string so in string value react okay so this is how we create a variable right next thing let's just i have added the bootstrap file so let's create new class name row new class name call three and in that call three i will take one paragraph and in this paragraph i will display the language name so let's print it like this let's save and check so you can see react js is react js is printed over here 
Now, what I have to do on the button click, I have to change the variable name and the latest variable name should be displayed on this paragraph. So again, I will create a new class name called two. And here I will be creating a button. So button again, I will provide some BTN. SM BTN primary class. And let's say change language. Right. So on this button click, what we have to do, we have to change the variable name. Right. And show the latest value. Let's make it three. Now, what we have to do, we need to create a function. So const change language equal to round bracket arrow function we have to create. Now, what we have to do, we have to change the variable value of this language name. So we have created a function that is set language. We have to use that, right? New value we a new value we can provide it over here. Let's make it angular. So on the page load in this variable we have the value react.js. But once we click on the button, this function will be get call and we are changing the value of this variable to angular. Now we need to call this function on this button click. So on click, this is what we have seen in last video. Right? This is how we call the function. So let's save and check. So on the page load, you can see react.js is getting printed over here. But if I click, you can see Angular is printed. This means what we have done is we have changed the value of this particular variable. Right. So this is just a string value. Now, just like this, we can change the integer value also. So let's try it one more time. Let's say product. Price set price is equal to use state. Let's initialize it with some value. Let's make it 1200. Right. Let me just copy paste this same structure. Now, here I will print it product price. Let me just minimize this. Product price will be over here. Now, just like this, we need again one more function that is const change price round bracket, early bracket, enter. So now here, what we have to do, we have to change the product price, right? So this is our function, set price. Let's make this 2200, right? So this function is responsible to change the value of this product price variable by 2200. Now we need to call this function. So just like this, we need to change it. Change price. Let's save and check it. So on the page load, the value is 1200. If I click on this, you can see value got changed. Right? So just like this, we have done the normal uh, string and integer, date, boolean, same thing will be there. Now the change will be with object and array. So that is what something, some code will be different. To change the boolean, string, integer, and date, this is the same way. But just with object and array, something extra code or some uh, specific is other, right? So let me just create an object, const. Let's create a student object. Student object, comma, set student object is equal to use state. Right. In use state, let's try to create a basic object. So name colon Ethan City colon Mumbai and contact colon. Right. So we have created an object that is student object and we have initialized some basic value with some three fields, right? Name, city and Mumbai with some value. Now we have to print this object in our div. Let me just copy paste this. Now 
this is an object right so we cannot paste directly object like this let's see if i do like this if i directly try to print the object over here you might get error see objects are not valid as a reaction so whenever we try to access the object we access that object by using the particular field or uh, name by using that dot operator right so object dot let's print name then after that let's add a comma let's just copy paste comma name then city you can see once we press dot it suggests what are the properties it has right so if i save now error will go away and the value you can see right let's just move a little bit six and three so this looks better now the thing is what we have to do we can create separate functions let's create two buttons the first button will be responsible to change name and second button will be responsible to change city now what we are trying to do is on this button click we are trying to change the particular property name right so just like we have name right so we are trying to change the particular property name so let's try to do that let's create function now const change should name round bracket right so we have got the function which is responsible to change the name from this object now what need what we need to do so again the method set student object we have to call right in that what we need to do first we need to get the previous object right so for that let's say previous object then arrow operator right inside that we have to use round bracket and then curly bracket because it is an object then dot 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 our previous object right then which property we have to change the name only right so we can use name colon value so at the time of initialization the property name has the value chetan now i'm going to change it to rahul right so let's call this function over here change name let's save and check so on this button click this function will get called we are calling use state function on set student object we have got the previous object and previous object we have got as it is and inside that we are changing the name property to rahul so let's see now on click of change name so see chetan is there because we have initialized the object with chetan but if i click on change name so you can see rahul is getting printed over here means in that object to that particular key we have changed the value just like that we can try to change the city also so we need to create another function constant change city right just like the above one we need to write it set student object previous object round bracket curly bracket dot 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 our previous object as it is and what we need to change so city colon right let's make it pune on the second from second button we will call this change city let's save and check so see on the page load we have got mumbai if i click on change city so you can see the pune is getting printed means we have changed the value right so this is how we this was uh this thing was normal with the string value or the integer value but with object we have to do like this right now let's see array how do we change the array so let's create a array of city list city list comma our set state function set list is equal to use state let's initialize that with some empty array 
this is an array it is going to be in square bracket it said full name mumbai so we have created city list or variable and in that we have initialized that particular array with only two values that is pune and mumbai so let's try to display this now let me just comment it let's copy paste now in case of array we can directly paste the value it will show it directly but with object we have to access by using dot operator right and the button will be add city now what we need to do is so when we have initialized this particular city list we have added only two elements in that particular array now on click of this button we need to add some static array uh, static element to this existing array so let create one more function const add new city round bracket right so now here what we need to do set list or the set state method we have created then again the same thing previous array we have to get so let's say previous array right and inside that this is array so we have to use square bracket dot 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 then previous array this spread operator we are using comma we have to add new element so mumbai and the pune we have added let's try to add thane here right and we will be calling this function on this button click so let's see because this is static how many doesn't matter how many times we click this function only thane is going to be added but just to understand it we are doing it so on the page load you can see pune and mumbai is there if i click on add city see how many times i add if i add that thane will be added we are just simply pushing right so it is just we are pushing thane to the particular existing array so this was the basic idea how we can use use state in react and the rendering also in case of object we have to use the dot operator to show the particular field right so the change was the uh, the basic thing with string and the number and the boolean it is very easy but just with object it is uh, using with uh, spread operator and the arrow function we have to do something like this right so in case of object it was like this in round bracket it was array uh, sorry object so we have to get the previous object and from this previous object we are changing the property of this particular name property but just in array we have to add this array is the existing one and we have added the new element so constant so we are just uh, concatenating this array and with new element so we are forming new array with this thing and that same will be displayed over here because we have binded the particular array over there that is city list so this is how we use the use state in coming session again we will explore some more topics on the react side till then please do subscribe if you are new please do check out the old videos and i have taken it all from basic setup project creation and everything while component creation event and this is the next episode that is react hooks in that we have seen use state right so please do subscribe and like my videos